one year. It's been a whole year since I uploaded my first video on September 27th, 2015. Oh, it honestly doesn't feel like it's been a year. It feels like everything's just gone by so quick. It still feels I'm just like a fetus on this website that I haven't been doing it for that long. And I guess Compared to some of the people that have been around since the beginning, since like 2005, 2006, I haven't been doing it for that long, but still, a year is a long time. It's longer than I've spent with most other hobbies. I've mentioned many, many times before that I have a short attention span, and that applies to pretty much everything I do, including the stuff I enjoy. I'll pick something up. I'll get really into it and then a month or so down the line I'll just drop it but that hasn't happened with YouTube yet. My motivation at the beginning is still as strong if not stronger as my motivation now and a big part of that is the support I've gotten now. A hundred subscribers isn't really much in the grand scheme of things comparing to PewDiePie who's got like 45 million subscribers or whatever the hell he has now but to me the fact that a hundred people saw one of my videos and they not only enjoyed it but they enjoyed it enough to say you know I want to see more from this guy I'm actually going to click subscribe that means a lot and you don't even have to have subscribed just by liking a video by commenting on it even just by watching it you've interacted with something i've worked really hard on and i'm grateful for every bit of in fan interaction i've had so to look back on all that i've done and how much i've improved i thought it's something i've had in my mind for a while i wanted to go back and watch the first video i ever made which was my cowboy bebop review uh, now, I remember a few things from, the, from this because it's only been a year, but there's a lot of stuff that I obviously don't remember and I'm really dreading this. I'm extremely critical on the stuff I make now, so I could only imagine how hard it's going to be watching my very first video again. So, I'm going to put these headphones on right here. And let's start. Hello and welcome to Now I'm sure this episode, I'm the first thing that you guys are saying is Cowboy why in the, the blue hell is this so orange? Well back when I first started making YouTube videos I had absolutely no idea what color balance was so I had the wrong color balance settings on my camera and it came out looking like it had spaghetti juice like smeared all over the screen it was horrible. Well what's the point of this video if it's so popular everybody already know about it right? Well, the thing is, Cowboy Man. Bebop was made over... In terms of ago, technically, there are probably a lot of the technical things I did in this video, the editing is okay, I guess. It's so a little bit slower than I would like, but the Cowboy thing that's Bebop really killing me right now... Fans, and hopefully this will also reintroduce it to a you know what, that comment right there. The that comment, I just want to go off on a tangent about that. I was thinking that, hey, I'll cover Cowboy Bebop first. It's the most popular anime ever. I'll get 100 subscribers and it will be the start of my shoot to superstardom on YouTube. Boy, that didn't work out. But again, it made me more grateful for you know, the support I've got. So it's all good. The rest of the episode have completely self-contained stories. And again, getting back to and my speech, I've always struggled with speaking on camera. It's been one of the things that I've had to constantly work on and refine. And even now, I don't think 
from I'm beginning. all that good, the but thing that here, I need to touch on when talking about the story of Cowboy Bebop is the end. My delivery yeah, is awkward and stilted. Say, Bebop has probably the most memorable oh, that right there. That, that again. Going off on tangents again. On that is one thing that I learned from the first video. The story of Don't Bebop ever cut mid word. Cuz the thing is the word that I said was a little bit long. I like, kind of like dragged it out. So I made a cut in the middle so that it was a bit shorter, but it came off as really abrupt. It didn't quite work, so I never did that again. He's also a very skilled martial artist and can be This is another thing that I also haven't done much since my earlier videos. Instead of actually they giving my thoughts on the characters and you know my own opinions of them i would just kind of read through a synopsis well. of so like who they were a bit about their background the kind of stuff they did and i would However, give no opinion on, and i think that my videos have become a lot better since i actually started thinking about what i thought of the characters rather than just reading off their wikipedia buyers and this can cause him to get into quite a few arguments with the more impulsive characters like spike and fay the final member of the crew mm. is edward who is an eccentric hacker prodigy because of her very eccentric personality she is at the center of a lot of the show's comedy you know me, the characters are the main reason why i enjoyed the show so much they all have Ugh. fantastic chemistry with each other. They're I was about to say that my speech great isn't that bad. And you, you know what? It's still bad. It's still quite bad, but kind of it's not as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting me to go like uh, the cowboy beep up. It, 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 it's good. Uh, and I guess the have very that a lot of the time comes down to my or. attitude, the attitude yeah, I've Edward's always had. Quite tragic, even I have never allowed an um and an R to get into one of my reviews. That's quite one of the reasons why I do so many edits. I take each line multiple times. I make sure that it's said really, really well, that there's no awkward pauses, that there's no... This anime really you know, little yeah, ums and ahs, like I said, I'll make sure that I say it clean, so I guess that's one thing I can be grateful for. I put a fair bit amount of time into editing this video, and because of that, again, it doesn't come off as maybe as awkward as some other first videos could have. Good and really fits the setting of this show. The dub also deserves special mention, as back when this anime came out, Dubs were very much hit or miss. Usually, usually miss is again the, the delivery. Dubs were a lot lower than they are today. In an era of low expectations, and th so this is another thing I've noticed. It's something that I've so always good, struggled with. My head form. movements from Steve Bloom, who are very, very repetitive. And this, I know some of you are thinking, wow, you're the nitpicking the shit out of this. But again, it's part of my drive to improve. I'm always looking for little things that I could you know, iron out, that I could get rid of in order to improve my videos. And one thing I was noticing there is, that I was always, with every line, I was always doing the exact same head movements all the time with every take. And it's something I still struggle with today. I often do the exact same head movements in multiple takes. You know, I find that it's best to move my body in order to be more expressive, but the trouble with that is you tend to, a lot of the time, do the exact same hand and movements and it comes like off as repetitive so again but still something I'm working quite well is also quite heavily on YouTube right now but pretty much anywhere. I guess or if, if I was going to say the main problem with my movement Wait, in this is so that I'm barely moving at all other than again my head and if you like this that's video, doing the exact same movements thanks again like I was I was Oh, and that is the end of the video. Yeah, as I was saying, I was barely moving at all. I was just kind of sitting there like this and just moving my head around a bit. So that is something, I think it was like around 15 or 20 videos. Some dude made a comment saying, hey, you're a bit stiff if you can move around a lot more. And I started doing that and I found that that also helped me be more expressive with my voice. Ooh, well, I rambled on for long enough there, so anyway, 
thanks again for all of you that watched. I will have an actual review coming out soon. If you have a look in the background, you'll get a clue as to what I'm reviewing next. But as always, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.